Josh Smith here again for Guitar World Magazine. Over the last few months, we've been talking about the three ways that I connect chords together within a blues progression and within my blues soloing. Chromaticism, diminished chords, and turnarounds, 2-5-1 turnarounds. Um, so we, we gave a lot of examples specifically for each one of those things and started talking about how to use them. But again, when you're improving and you're playing the blues, you don't want to be thinking about this stuff. You want to be playing music. You want to be feeling it. So I'm never thinking, oh, I need to play a bunch of two five ones right now. Or, oh, this chorus is going to be all about chromaticism. No, I'm, I'm following my inner voice and, and playing what I hear uh, musically. I'm connecting the dots with all of these ideas together at the same time. Sometimes I don't use any of them. Sometimes I just play the blues because it's the greatest thing in the world. So what I'm going to do now is play a completely improv chorus of the same blues in A, using all those ideas, but just going where my muse tells me, I guess, if that makes sense. So here we go. I'm going to count it off for you. One, two, one, two, three. So I started this chorus with a little pickup. I counted myself in and played a very horn player pickup. And automatically I had a lot of chromaticism in there. That little chromatic move. Um, and then I, I walked up to the four. So I played something like... I love that move. I played the third and again the third. So I kind of highlighted with an octave. And then played chromaticism to lead me back to the one. Then I played a diminished chord to lead me back to the four chord. And then I played some blues. I might have played that 2-5-1 right there. <laughs> Sorry, too much. <laughs> 